What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna talk about Puppet Cereal. This cereal was released by Nabisco back in 1966. And your first reaction here is probably, wait, what? Those aren't cereal boxes. And you're right, these aren't cereal boxes, but they did at one time contain cereal. So let's talk about this unique and strange short-lived cereal because I find it fascinating. First of all, let me be completely upfront, I actually hadn't heard of this cereal. I mean, granted, it was released 15 years before I was born, but as a cereal enthusiast and historian, I'm embarrassed when I find there's a cereal that I didn't know about and it flew under my radar. So thank you to that random commenter who mentioned Puppet Cereal and sent me down an online rabbit hole to discover this weird creation. Now, as I mentioned, this cereal was released back in 1966 by Nabisco. But before I go any further, let me just show you the commercial for this cereal from back then. Here, take a look. Uh, I'm painting toys for girls and boys. Hurry up, Donald. Get your Mickey or Donald toy filled with puppets, new super tasting caramel cereal. Puppets, 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 new super tasting caramel cereal. Have fun with your puppet toys. Play with them. Use them for banks. Put on a circus. Sleep with them. Eat with them. Mickey and Donald, take your pick. Take both. Delicious, nutritious puppets from the Bisco at Food Store. So there's a lot to unpack in that commercial. First, according to my research, the company that made that commercial was an animation studio called Playhouse Pictures. They did lots of commercials back in the 60s. Now Disney obviously signed off on the concept. I guess it was easier to get Disney to license things back then. I found some of the storyboards and script for that commercial over at cartoonresearch.com. That website has a wealth of old cartoon trivia and info. So if you're into that kind of thing, I definitely recommend heading over to that website and reading up on old cartoon and animation companies. Now, as you saw in that ad, the first release of these cereals came in these plastic containers shaped like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. They showed people using these containers as bowling pins, puppets, piggy banks. They even suggested you should sleep with them, which is kind of creepy. It's just a really weird gimmick to sell cereal in a container like this. And some people online mentioned that back in the day, some kids would open the bottom of these in the grocery store and cereal would spill all over the cereal aisle, which doesn't seem too hard to believe, right? It's also just a weird way to pour cereal out of the bottom of a container. It just looked kind of weird with the girl doing that in the commercial. Now, at some point, they released two more Disney characters for puppet cereal. There was a Winnie the Pooh and a Kanga and Roo version. You can see that those two containers were a little more colorful, but it was still the same concept. Now, if we unscrew the bottom here, we can see what the inside of this Mickey one looked like. So there you go, that hollowed out inside was all packed with cereal. And then on the back of these containers here, you can see they had this little slot that you could cut out and make a piggy bank for when you finished eating the cereal and there was just a hollow container left. Here's what the label on the bottom of the container looks like. You can see these sold for 59 cents back in 1966. And you can see there the cereal is described as caramel flavored wheat puffs. The ingredients are wheat, sugar, corn syrup, vegetable oil, honey, salt, vinegar, some artificial flavoring and coloring, and then some preservatives and vitamins. Now, unfortunately, both of these containers are empty, so I can't show you exactly Exactly what this cereal looked like. But here's the thing, it was essentially just golden crisp or honey smacks, which you can still buy today. Just sugar-coated puffed wheat. And Nabisco didn't invent that for this puppet cereal back in 1966. In fact, they probably used these characters and containers as a desperate attempt to keep one of their classic cereals from going extinct. I've talked about this before in the Rice Honeys or the Klondike Pete video, but the cereal that came in these containers has a long and important history. It started as the first pre-sweetened cereal all the way back in 1939 when it was called Ranger Joe's Wheat Honeys or Rice Honeys. That cereal was then bought by Nabisco in 1954 and rebranded as Wheat Honeys and Rice Honeys. But then by the 60s, the sale of those cereals started to sag a little bit. So Nabisco tried to revitalize it and this puppet cereal is one of those ideas. The hope was that Donald and Mickey breathed some new life into the cereal and gave kids something to be excited about. Now Wheat Honeys and Rice Honeys were still on the shelves when these puppet cereals came out, but I think the hope was that these would be such a huge hit that they would take over as one of their main cereals. But it wasn't a huge hit for a various number of reasons. Probably one of them was that it was hard to wrap your head having cereal in a container like this. So Puppets was discontinued, but the cereal would live on and it was rebranded as Winnie the Pooh Honey Crunchers a few years later. And then finally Klondike Peach Crunchy Nuggets before it was discontinued and gone from shelves forever. Well, at least Nabisco's version. Like I said, you can still buy a version of the cereal as Honey Smacks or Golden Crisp if you want it. But they don't come in these cool plastic containers anymore, which by the way, aren't exactly the best depictions of of Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. But like I said, I guess back in the 60s, it was easier to license Disney properties 
and the mouse didn't have as much control as they do now. But I like these. These are pretty cool collector's items and they're actually pretty cheap on eBay. They even had some of the Winnie Pooh and Kangaroo Roo ones available as well. So anyway, I know this isn't a very extensive or in-depth video, but I just wanted to share this with you in case you maybe never heard of this odd cereal that came out in the 60s. If you're one of the older viewers of this channel, please let me know if you remember this stuff. I always love hearing about older cereals that were around before I was born. All right, well, that's gonna do it for Puppet Cereal. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. Hey Donald, this guy's got his hand up my... Yeah.